Friends, I am sorry to say, tomorrow is election day. We must arm ourselves for war. Because now is the time before, uh, we open up the door. That was pretty good. Not very good, pretty good. All right, actually though, we do need to um get ready to go have to live in the woods because today is November 2nd, 2020. And I mean, we got an election going up <clears throat> like tomorrow. That sucks, election for presidency. All right, first things you need to do, you need to be able to, you need to have a staff, you know? Or the very least, nice, solid, yard long stick at the very least why are you so fat why are you so fat <clears throat> alright so here um I have this this is too short it used to be a staff but then it broke well I kind of broke it. It, it 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 broke in the line of duty alright but here I have Four stabs. And we're gonna take a look at which one works best. Right here we have this. This is what I like to refer to as my S staff because of the very slight S shape it has. Um, let's see. You can kind of see it, and that's that's why it's cool. It's nice, um, tall, maybe about. I don't know, it's over five feet, something. Five, five, um, five, nine, maybe? I'm really bad at eyeballing measurements like that. Here we have this one, uh, which is just a little bit taller. This is my Psalm 23 staff because I would burned, uh, I would burned Psalm 23 on that. So that's pretty cool. I didn't do a very good job, but it, it looks cool from if you don't um, examine it close up. So this is nice and sturdy. Um, that's important. Your staff will have to be sturdy, very sturdy. This is oh, this is nice and sturdy. That's a good one. Oh. However, it won't work. For me because of its height. I typically want my staffs to be taller than me. Well not typically, right? they have to be taller than me for them to kind of staff in my opinion. For like my staff. This one is taller than me maybe a few inches maybe at most. I'm thinking maybe two inches, one and a half inches, I don't know. This is this my, my current staff which I use um right so this is my current staff you gotta get that grainy image quality bad thing about this though <clears throat> i'll bring it to the sunlight so we can have a better uh well it's going to bring it to the sunlight bad thing about this though is the uh texture of the wood it's the, the texture of the wood. Whenever I use it, it seems to go a little bit shorter. Uh, let's focus in on the camera. Focus. No, not on the camera, on the staff. There it is. You know, pieces of it just kind of chip off, and it seems to go a little bit shorter each time I use it. That's not that's not a fun thing. So, but currently, this is my current staff, which I use. 
And then my other staff here. This is kind of my fantasy looking staff. Some Gandalf might have used. Focus in camera, there it is. You can tell why it's fancy like. It almost has a silvery sheen to it. That's nice. Um look at that crack though. Eesh. Don't like the look of that crack. But it'd probably hold up for a while. Nice solid staff. If you don't have a staff, um, that sucks. You get one. <laughs> I'm kidding. You gotta, you gotta find the right, st the right stick if you're gonna make staff. It has to be the right height. It has to be solid. Yeah, then you have to dry it out. Uh, assuming, like, you, yeah, you have to dry it out. Otherwise, it would probably rot or something. All right. Down here, I'm working on this other staff. It was bent. Um, so I'm bending it to make it a little bit taller, a little more straight. That'll be pretty cool. Alright, so. Step one of a staff. Nice, solid, sturdy staff. This one, uh, that's the best we'll get. Step two. Have a weapon. Staffs can function as weapons, but that's not their primary purpose. So what we're looking for as a weapon. Something, something you can use as a weapon. Um, look, it's nice. This could be used as a weapon, but it's kind of a small, it's more of a, it's a, it's a pocket knife, not a weapon. So I'm gonna say hold off. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I hope, I hope that was on camera. You can't go wrong with a good old pocket. Not pot, but you know. So what I would say is weapon that I, to some some BB gun things, uh, they're good, or airsoft guns. You know, you can hunt squirrels with them and stuff. So that that works pretty well. Um, personally, though, I I do prefer a good old fashioned lightsaber. That works pretty well um, for pretty much anything. <laughs> um, over here, I have my retainers. That's gross, don't look at that. And I have the harmonica. This thing is my harmonica. I'm gonna play a piece of music, you know. Right, that was good. Moving on. Cedar blocks, these these things, you cannot have enough of these if you're gonna go surviving after election day. All right, next thing you need, assuming you've gotten a weapon and a staff, you'll need a book. Um, well, two books actually, you'll need, you'll need a Bible. I don't feel like taking my Bible out of my pocket, so I'll go take a, this Bible. This Bible, whoo boy. This thing is epic, I am telling you guys, this is an antique Bible from the uh, 200th anniversary of uh, Declaration of Independence. That's pretty cool. It's got some stuff on there. A little bit questionable, but it's an antique, so it's cool. Um, personally, though, I would hold off on, on any big books like that. Um, we know Bible. That's, that's a necessity. So... I'm gonna bring a smaller rifle when I have to go survive after election day. And then bring something something else. A smaller piece of literature. Preferably smaller. Right here is um an old hymn book. Forever trusting in the Lord, that's a good one. So you'll wanna bring those two pieces of literature, your Bible, and then something else. Alright. So then you'll have your literature, your staff, and your weapon. The last thing you should need is a lack of siblings. I'm just kidding. Siblings are cool. Sometimes. <laughs> Staff. Weapon. 
Bible, other pieces of literature. So, the last thing you'll need to survive after election day, which is tomorrow, is some, some woods to go survive in. As you can see, across the street, we got some stuff, you know, it's pretty good. I'm just kidding, that sucks. Those woods suck. They're really small and really thin. Not recommended for surviving in. Also, there are raccoons there, so that's a, that's an added bonus, I guess. But you will need woods to survive in after tomorrow. So, well, what I recommend is Google Google Maps. They're a little outdated um, in some places. But you can use Google Maps, go into satellite mode or whatever, and find some woods. Um, get over there with your staff, your Bible, piece of literature, your weapon. And then go survive in the woods. And that is what I recommend you do today, before election day. Because tomorrow is election day. And you will be doomed on election day, especially if you're made out of carpet. In which case, you're not a human, you're an actual carpet.